Yeah, I think for, for that, that would definitely be a positive for, for the market. So right now, so I think because if we look at the, the uh, US, if you look at the dualistics, like uh, obviously we've been hearing markets saying the, that Baba is coming to, to, to a dualist or coming to Hong Kong. And I think in terms of the general trade war, which is going on between the, U, the US and Hong Kong, I think there will be more, definitely more uh, 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 companies looking to move back to Hong Kong because like, we really don't know what the US would be doing. Because looking at what they've been doing to Huawei, obviously, uh, they're sort of like, so basically they're de definitely trying to, to, to push that competition. So, so I do see more uh, dualist things coming back, especially when you look at the uh, Chinese companies. Basically, they do have a, a large chunk of their operations in China. Basically, they were listed in US before because like, uh, because obviously they didn't get like, obviously rules like about dual shares and all those things like, weren't there when, when they listed. So uh, right now I would see a lot more uh, companies moving back to, to, I would expect more companies to be moving back to I, China. And obviously as, if that does happen, that will be positive for the uh, Hong Kong and China style market. As a result of the trade war, or the trade dispute between the two countries, that's what you're saying. That is one of the other effects that, that we're going to be watching. Uh, if you look, if, yeah, that's be some, that's an effect that we will be 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 watching definitely. Wow. Okay. So that's uh, as you po pointed out, that's positive for the Hong Kong China markets uh, overall. Um, as a, how do you take advantage of that sort of trend? Um, obviously, you've got to wait for the companies to come and, and list before they're actually in the Hong Kong market. What do you do in the lead up? As given you're expecting this to happen. Okay. Yeah, right now, if I'm expecting this to happen, then probably I'll st I'll be. Probably I'll be, be, if you look at the stocks in the US, basically, uh, if we look at those stocks, I think right now in the US, like there, a lot of them has been sort of been correcting, uh, correcting uh, since the trade war, like we've been seeing uh, uh, some weak performance for some of the names. So uh, right now, if I'm looking at those, I'll be sort of accumulating a bit of, of, of those names, even in the US. And even for Hong Kong, I would say some of the, uh, sort of, some of the internet tech stocks are sort of also at a low, sort of at a sort of lower, uh, we can't say a low valuation, but then I think in terms of share price, they're a little bit more attractive right now. Uh, given that we're saying we're not too worried about uh, 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 the, Chi the Chinese market or the Chinese economy right now, then uh, I think that would be something that we will be looking at to accumulate at certain levels. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.